Hi, I'm Sophie Schlacey at Sundance 2012 here in the THR Video Lounge at Village at the Lift. We are here with Anne Haish of That's What She Said. How are you doing today? I'm awesome, thank you. We had a really fun screening last night. Yeah? Yeah, it was great. Can you tell me a little bit about the screening and the audience reaction? Um, well, you know, That's What She Said is a little bit of a dirty, raunchy chick flick. And um, it's about three girls who are kind of having the worst day of their life in New York. But it was supposed to be a great day about friendship and fun and love, and it turns into a disaster. Um, Marsha DeBonis, Alia Shawkat, and I do it. Carrie Preston is our director. And I think we really wanted to do a movie where like guys and girls would both laugh and giggle and also come to the end and really be moved into an understanding of, you know, friends make it through anything, you know. Mm -hmm. And so we had an early screening and it was really great because I think that word got out and it was just piled full of people who wanted to get in and, and laugh and have a great time and they, they did, you know, and I can't, you know, I don't wish anything more for Carrie who just worked her tail off to get it done, so I'm really happy for her. Well, that's awesome and congratulations to you as well. Thank you. What is your favorite thing about coming to Sundance? Oh, you know, you work so hard to get a movie done, especially an independent movie now. And everybody has had and gone through the same experience of getting it accomplished. And then when you come here, you've made a piece of art or film that people are celebrating. So it's like a, it's just an excited, enthusiastic, everybody knows what everybody else went through to get here. And so it's like a high five on like, keep going, keep doing it, keep celebrating and making you know, great work, yeah. great films. Now this year at the festival, I noticed there's definitely a trend of female-driven projects. That's awesome, I'm happy to hear that. What do you sort of <laughs> attribute to the rise of uh, female-driven comedies, dramas, everything? Well, I think women are just getting more and more honest on film, you know, so instead of hiding behind male, especially in comedy, I think they're just getting bolder and braver and people like that, you know. I think the more open we are, the more challenges that we, we take in our life, then we take them as actors or performers and put them on screen and people are saying, yeah, we want to see that. Can you speak a little bit to working with the director on set as well as your castmates? Um, well, Carrie, I just adore, you know, we really needed to do this movie really fast for a really low budget. Um, we needed to be really tight, and um, we went into, Carrie was really smart because it started off as a play, this movie, and we rehearsed for three days, which is kind of unheard of, but we, were, we actually, some of our scenes are like 15 to 20 pages long. So she got us into a room and we played with each other, and I think that really helped because once the cameras were rolling, we had to be in it. Um, there was no, you know, on a soap opera, if you say the words, you kind of move on. And in this movie, it's kind of the same thing. Because <laughs> there were so many different things that she had to do, so many different shots she had to make to make a, a movie really about three girls talking interesting. Mm -hmm. So um, it was like a little, it was a little play group, actually, for for 30-something uh, artists, except for Alia Shawkat, who's a baby and 22. <laughs> She's 22. I think. Wow. Or 23, baby. <laughs> She's so cute, though. Yeah. Now, how much of uh, the script did you stick to, and was there any improvising on set? Kelly Overby wrote an amazing script. In fact, this script came to me because I did a play with Kelly Overby on Broadway called 20th Century with Alec Baldwin. And Alec and Kelly are very dear friends, and Alec is such a supporter of artists, film, of everything, uh, but certainly his friends. And he called and he said, you're the only girl who could play this role. Would you please look at Kelly's script? And so I got it, and within an hour, Kelly and, and Carrie and I were all talking and um, deciding we needed to do it. We stuck to the script. It was very, very funny. They've had a lot of time to work on it, to change it from a play into a film. So it was tight. Her jokes were there. Um, there may have been some tiny changes in terms of just place and time or whatever. But we were we were wedded to it. It was yeah. great, and we ca we tried to give it all the glory that we could give it. Well, good luck with everything, and it's great to see you. Thank, thank you, you so much for stopping by. It's my pleasure. Thanks for and having me. And thank you me. for watching. For more coverage of Sundance 2012, continue to check back at THR.com.